There was a Zambian brother that stayed in China. Now he was a civil engineering student. His name was Crispin Mwale. That's his brother's name. Now this brother in China was dating a Chinese woman and the men, the Chinese men that lived there had a problem with that. So much so that they beat this brother to death with some metal pipes. It was about four Chinese men that did this. Now I cannot show you the video on YouTube um, because it's against their rules, but I will make another version of this same video. It, it will include the clip. I'll leave the link um, down below for Black Junction. You can go there, you can watch the clip, and we'll continue with the commentary on that. Now, once they beat this brother, I mean, they were beating him. I mean, you know, you see the blood, you see all that, they beating him. Now, this is what they said to this brother, right? In the midst of beating him, after they pulled him out of the house. Now, the thing is, his girlfriend wanted him to go back to the crib with her, right? After clubbing. And they heard that. So they, they pulled him out of the house. And this is what they said to him. I want y'all to hear this. Now, we have over a million Chinese in the continent of Africa. They're coming in. They're doing all kind of foul and greasy stuff. We even hear our Caribbean brothers and sisters, even Jamaicans, they're saying they're coming in and being foul and greasy in Jamaica. So throughout the diaspora, we're having the same issues and problems, and it needs to be called out. Now, they said to this brother, while they were beating him to death, they said that there is no black man allowed to date their people. This is what they said in China. But yet, we have Chinese men going over to the continent of Africa, getting with black women. Now, Zambian brothers, you got to set some order in Zambia right now. Now, they said they insulted this brother, why they were beating him and said Africa was too poor and they would not allow black beings to be raised in their country. Meaning we don't want your half black children being raised here either. So they beat him, they say till he died. That's it. Now this happened originally in 2016, but his brother got no justice because in China, they don't give justice to black people. I had another brother that came to a video was writing that when he was in China, one of them was upset while he was playing basketball. And, um, if the brother, remember the story, right? He dunked on one of them. He, he punched him. He was about to go handle his business, but the African brothers stopped him from handling his business. They said, Hey, you hit him. You're going to go to jail for years. Say they had a friend of theirs got in a fight with one of them. He got sentenced eight years in jail for d defending himself. So the Chinese don't like black folk. I don't care what, who say what, this is what I'm starting to see more and more in here stories coming out of everywhere. We've seen the racist video that came out of Kenya where they, he was calling black people monkeys, saying black people stink, talking about um, the president of Kenya. We saw that video and he was deported and rightfully so, but we have a China problem. They're coming in, they're doing whatever the hell they want. They're shooting people. They're beating people. They're doing whatever things they could not even do in their own countries. So it's getting, China has gotten a, a little out of hand. Well, not a little, a lot out of hand. And the people on the continent got to put a stop to that. Now what your governments are doing with them is one thing. But you tell your government, they're not going to come here and colonize. They're not going to come here and treat us any kind of way. They're not going to come in here and talk to us any kind of way. And for sure, if they want to beat a Zambian brother down and take up a Zambian brother's life, well, then it should be a notice put out. None of y'all better not date a black woman here. Now, one of y'all better date an African, a Zambian, or Ugandan, or whatever. Y'all better stick to your own because you killing ours. And you saying that you're not gonna have no black beings here that you flooding the continent of Africa, you flooding the Caribbean. No black folks got to start having some cold and start saying, you're not going to treat our people in any kind of way. And the Zambians right now, from what I've been reading, they pissed off. They hot. They say they want China out of there. And I'm telling you right now, 
If they don't get out of there, it's going to be some problems because they're not for it. It's enough they got to deal with all the rest of the colonizers, and now they're going to come in and just doing whatever they want. And then the thing is they have no respect for you. No respect. Calling you all kind of names to your face. Telling you stink. Tell, calling you a monkey. That's, that's just this white supremacist thing. No, this brother definitely deserves some sort of justice. But he's not going to get it in China. Now, people don't like us like that. Now, I know Walter Maya lives over there, and, and they may like him or whatever. But look, I would tell him to him, my, uh, his face. Brother, you putting yourself in harm's way over there. I will not be over there. We don't need Africans going to China doing anything. You need to make Africa great. You don't need to come to the United States either. You need to stay home and make Africa great. That's what you need to do. We throughout the diaspora have no problem coming and, and you know, building with you, having relationships with you, building our culture together. Uh, uh, you know, some of us may want to permanently relocate. I'm all for that. I support that. But it's time for the continent to make the continent great. It's just that simple. Because going to other people's countries, you're sitting ducks. They outnumber you. And I've, what I've noticed about anyone who have a white supremacist mentality, if they have more numbers than you, that's when they're going to act out. So they're not going to act out in your area. And because if they act out, it's going to be a problem. So no, you have to build up your own countries. And you say, well, the leadership is corrupt. Get them out. You, how many revolutions y'all didn't had in African nations? Get them out. It's time for all these old school dudes that's in African nations to get out and let the young people with great ideals who love their people to come in and start implementing those new ideas because these old school dudes are selling out the African nations. That's why they don't care about y'all. Obviously all they care about is their back pocket. They don't care if they're getting into debt with China and China coming in and taking their airports and taking their ports and taking their electricity and taking their all kind. They don't care about any of that because they good. They got the money in their back pocket. But what about you brothers and sisters in Zambia? What about you brothers and sisters in Uganda? How they coming in is acting a fool and you need to call that immigration too. too many of them coming in. They coming in, taking your jobs on the side of the street. A lot of you brothers and sisters used to sell your fruits and vegetables. Now they coming in and selling their fruits and vegetables. They'll take your intellectual property like they do with us here in the United States, copy your stuff, and then sell it back cheap. This is what they did African-Americans, especially in California. They came into African-American shops, look at what African-Americans were selling, and then sent it to China, made a cheap copy, and then lowered the price to undercut African-Americans. They do this everywhere they go in the area of business. Other brothers and sisters tell me that they got their nail shops and hair salons, and they want to come in talking about trying to get them to sell the place to them, being rude about it, want to buy up the place, because they don't have no respect for African-Americans, Afro-Caribbean people, Afro-Latino, or anyone on the continent. They have no respect. We have no respect because we don't make them respect us. That's why. And the Zambian people, you got to start making them respect you. It should be some justice for your brother, Crispine Mwale, a civil engineer student that was just trying to get an education. His death should not be in vain. He let these Chinese come through Zambia and do whatever the hell they want to do. This is why we have to unite throughout the diaspora. This is why the African Union will have to uh, put together the, di the diaspora and give the diaspora visas where we could come and either have a permanent residence or unlimited visa. Because you need the diaspora to come in, not to save you. We're not coming to save you, but we need to unify. And we unify as one people, okay? China and whoever else can't stop us. So that's what we need to do. We need to build the, the continent of Africa, especially us here in the U.S. We look at what happened to Bill Kaiser. That's going to keep happening. That's not going to stop. We need an option, too, if we choose to take that option. Because some of us, we, we love, you know, we love Master so much. So, you know, we, some of us are going to... Go down with him if that's what it takes. But those of us who feel different about that, no, China cannot, cannot. Hear me, brothers and sisters. South Africa, um, people write me from South Africa, Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, all the, everywhere, okay? You cannot let them come in and take over. You, the people, run your country. That's it. Not them. Call that immigration. If they come in to do some business, do your business. 
and go home. You're not staying here. If anybody going to come in, let the people through the diaspora come in. That's who you want. Because these people are not coming in do you no earthly good from what we're seeing. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the particular video. It is just sad what happened to this brother. But we have to get serious on code with each other and to protect our intellectual property, I support, actually, I'm going to say this, I support Trump's tariffs, and I hope you put them up at 25% on China because China needs to be brought, you know, to heal.